So, it's weird paper the sun, isn't it? Sometimes I think the sun's really funny. Like, I think news in briefs in the sun, I think that's very funny. You know, we'll like, they have the page three go, a little bubble or a comment on the topical news of the day. You know, it's not like, Avril from Gosport thinks it's outrageous that Gordon Brown misled the Chilcot inquiry. <laughs> She's standing like there with her tits out like that. <laughs> yeah, I think it's really outrageous. <laughs> <sighs> and I'm all wet. No, because I think that's funny. That's a good joke, isn't it? Because you don't associate glamour models with having strong opinions on those subjects, do you? I mean, let's face it, they're not the brightest, are they? Yeah. They spend more time in their school uniform now than when they were meant to. <laughs> sometimes it's a bit creepy, the sun, isn't it? You know, like that girl from Harry Potter, Emma Watson, played Hermione, right? You know her? Like, like, you know they had a countdown to her 16th birthday? <laughs> and they did, that's true. I'm not making that up. They, they did, you know? I was thinking, imagine if I did that. Trouble I'd get into if I did that. <laughs> if I followed 15 year old girls around the street. <laughs> Five days to go! <laughs> We're all very excited. <laughs> Look, I made an advent calendar. Hmm. <laughs> I think I'd end up on the front page, wouldn't I? Ironically. <laughs> I said, there's one show on Channel 4 I think you could have a lot more swearing in, which is that show, uh, Ten Years Younger. Yeah. Or as I like to call it, Please Reduce My Ugliness. <laughs> Where do they get those people from? You don't see them wandering about, do you? <laughs> really, I think they put adverts at the end of tunnels. <laughs> and they come out at dusk, like that. <laughs> <laughs> Get the one that can read. <laughs> are you a buck-toothed, floppy arsed <laughs> cock-repelling growler? <laughs> so ugly, you make men stab themselves with their erect penises. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lovely image, isn't it? Um, I, I was watching it the other day, actually. I thought I'd check myself out. And I went, went and I stood in front of the mirror. I stripped off, stood in front of the mirror. And to my, my surprise, uh, I realised I got a six-pack. Yeah, yeah. Trouble is, it's in my forehead. <laughs> <laughs> That's bad, isn't it? Look at that. I don't know if you can see that at the top. But basically, I make Ramsay look like Hannah Montana. <laughs> so, can Hannah, my face get like this? You know? Well, what's, what's causing... Well, I was thinking, what have I seen to pull this expression so much in my life? <laughs> what have I seen? <laughs> the only explanation for this expression was if I had Alzheimer's and I drove a ghost train. You know, I'm sure there's an explanation for all of them. I mean, that one there, that's when the council changed the bin collection day. <laughs> this deep one here, that's man's inhumanity to man. <laughs> oh, the human race has done some terrible things, isn't it? Uh, right. And that one there is when they changed GIF to SIF. <laughs> no! <laughs> this one here, this one here I've worked out, that's the thousands of hours I've spent in my life looking for keys. <laughs> I worked out I spent at least six months of my life in the hallway of my house just going, oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> the fucking uh, keys, the fucking, oh, oh, oh. My wife always says the same thing, have you looked everywhere? I go, no, of course I haven't. <laughs> Because I'd have found them, wouldn't I? <laughs> they've got to be somewhere. We're not suggesting they've dematerialised. <laughs> to be honest, I haven't even covered the Northern Hemisphere. <laughs> I've just done the hallway and a bit of the kitchen. <laughs> I didn't even lift anything up. I just went, ah, fuck, lost them. <laughs> this here, between my eyes, I've got two lines between my eyes. They're permanently there. They're like buttocks in my face. <laughs> 
It's like someone sitting on my face going, having a nice day, Sean. <laughs> and I call these lines, I call these my lack of respect lines, you know, because uh, I don't feel like I get enough respect you know, in society. I'm not saying I want awards or OBEs or anything like that, or I don't, I don't want people to step back when I walk in the room. You know, little things would be nice. Maybe if people didn't speed up when I crossed the road. That would be nice. <laughs> So I wouldn't say it happens on a regular basis, but often enough to make me feel like a less than valued member of society. Because <laughs> I'm sure many of you have experienced that. You're walking across the road and you think, they're speeding up, aren't they? <laughs> it's horrible. But it, what's worse about it is what it makes you do. Because you suddenly you have to accelerate from a casual walking pace. You walk across the road like this, you go, they're speeding up, aren't they? And then you have to do this, you go. <laughs> Like you're in Swan Lake or something like that. Uh, uh. And it happened to me recently. I was, I was crossing a road and this VW Golf came over the brow of the hill and I heard the revs go. Vroom. I thought, right, we're on. <laughs> and my heels got onto the curb just as the car went past me. Like and I did what most of you have done here. Well, many of you would have would, would do, done the same. As he was driving off, I went like this. I went, wanker. You wanker! <laughs> and I think this is fair enough. I call this the pedestrian's horn. <laughs> I haven't got an inbuilt horn. If I did, that'd be fantastic, you know? If I had this permanently rigged up to speakers all over the country, it'd be fucking great. I'd just go, oh! <laughs> How good that would be. That would be great, wouldn't it? To be honest, I'd abuse it. I'd use it when it wasn't necessary. I'd be an old lady with checkout paying with coupons. Oh! Someone on the wrong side of an escalator. Oh! <laughs> Some chugger comes up to him. Would you like to donate money? Ah! <laughs> I just hang around Starbucks waiting for people to say, Can I get a coffee? Ah! <laughs> it's not get, it's have! <laughs> if you get a coffee, you work there! <laughs> Coffee, you have it! <laughs> ah! <laughs> That's another line. <laughs> but sadly, I haven't got that, so I have to use this. This is the next best thing. You know? And I think what I'm communicating to the guy as he drives off, what I'm communicating is, uh, hey, hey, I know you tried to kill me. Yeah? <laughs> I'm not thrilled about it. <laughs> so let's not meet up on a regular basis and do this, yeah? <laughs>